Welcome to another edition of the Mr. and Mrs. Show, your favorite show for conversations about marriage and love and everything that comes with it. I'm your host, Kokui Salome Hansen, and I have another couple on the couch. We're going to be chatting with them about their married life. But before we do that, I just want to acknowledge the wonderful companies who are supporting and sponsoring this season of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. Yomi Yogurt, a big thank you to them. I've got my Yomi Yogurt ready right here, and I hope you do too at home. Remember, you can pick up Yomi Yogurt anywhere and everywhere and enjoy it in all the flavors it comes in lace gallery if you need to pick up some beautiful fabric for your next special occasion then visit lace gallery in east ligon and they can definitely sort you out excella fabrics and design thank you for making my lovely skirt today you can get your outfits there and your fabric if you want to wear something like this. Thank you again to Excella Fabric and Design. Sally's Cakes and Treats always have something sweet for us to give to our guests and we really appreciate them for that. So if you need to get a cake made for any occasion, contact Sally's Cakes and Treats and they can get something delicious made for you. Ella Caddy has the jewelry that you want to wear to spice up your outfits. And yes, our guests will be getting that as well. Thank you, Ella Caddy for beautiful jewelry for the Mr. and Mrs. show, and Kente Farm in Kumasi, where all your Kente needs are met. Handcrafted, woven Kente, straight from Kumasi. Kente Farm is the place for you to go to get that sorted out. Thank you to all of you again for supporting the Mr. and Mrs. show, and let's meet our couple for today. Mr. and Mrs. Udro Asari are here, and they're going to chat with us about their married life. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good to have you on. I'm interested to find out more about this relationship and you look like you're ready to talk about it so i think this time we're going to go ladies first <laughs> mrs asari how did you meet your husband <laughs> um i met i officially met him in a salon but i saw him in church we attend the same church oh you had spotted him yeah he was dancing oh. <laughs> I just like the way he was dancing. So, wait. So, instead of you paying attention to the message... It was you going up a tree. Him... Oh, I see. Okay. Which, which church is this? Presbyterian Church. Okay. So, off a tree comes. He's going to put his collection in the basket. And you just spotted him. Yes. The what, way he was dancing. What kind of dance was he doing? <laughs> he didn't know how to dance. But oh. yes, that's a funny way of dancing. It's like, he didn't know how to dance. But he was trying to dance. Oh, so he was looking very funny. Okay. Yes. So he was making you laugh. Yes. And I think three days after, I met him in a salon. Mm, <laughs> what a coincidence. Okay. <laughs> I was sitting in a friend's salon and he just came there and said, today is my birthday and I'm inviting you to my party. Just like that? Yes. He didn't know you from anywhere? I think he said he met me, he had seen me in church and he even approached me once. And I snubbed him. Oh, no! To him. I don't even remember when it was, but that's what he said. Oh, but that's terrible! I mean, actually approached him, you don't even remember? Yes. Oh. Oh, so how is that? Wait, so you had also spotted her? Yeah. She spotted you dancing, and when you spotted her, what was she doing? Like, as she just said, <laughs> met her again in the salon, and then I invited her to my birthday party. What were you doing in that salon? I was actually, the lady there is my friend. So oh. I just went there and... <laughs> and then she her. happens to be there. Yes. Okay. And I invited her to my birthday party. That was that mm. same evening. So she, when it was time, I called her on the phone. And actually, I've taken the cell number already. So I called her on the phone. And <laughs> we actually met in a, a restaurant at oh. the village there. Where we are. So a couple of friends there. So then, then, then... Uh, it all started from there. It was, uh, I'm the type, uh, approaching ladies, it's quite uh, a difficult task for me. Really? Yes. <laughs> so, so uh, with the help of the friends, colleagues there, in that funny style way. Um, Mrs., you have to tell me the kinds of things he said and did. Did he come across as shy? Like, was he really shy yes. to approach? Really? The first thing he said was, uh, uh, in our church, the pastor is called. We call. We normally call her Mama. Okay. And he just told me, uh, it's like every day Mama always preached that in the in the church. It's like the lead, the guys are waiting for men outside to come for the ladies. So he's just she's just waiting for a day that someone from the church mm -hmm. will marry a lady from the church. So he just said, since the pastor said that. 
he is going to tell the pastor that he's ready to marry me and I'm from the church. Oh, wow. So he just said it. In the first... that's, that's quite bold. <laughs> that doesn't come across as shy to me. That's quite... So when he said that, what did you say? I didn't say, I just smiled <laughs> because I didn't know I'm what I'm sure you say. laughed. Yeah, exactly. But were you also interested? No. You weren't really into it. But what was no. it that made you eventually fall for him? I like, I don't like tall guys. Oh. Yes. Okay, say that again. Because <laughs> most men think women always want a tall guy. Mm. Most men say that. Okay, so your wife likes you because you're not tall. I didn't know that. But then... <laughs> Now you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't like tall guys, so mm -hmm. his stature also played a part. And oh. he's the he's a funny type. Okay. Yes. He says even when he gets angry though, but even when he's ang angry, you wouldn't know because he'll be smiling oh. while talking. So <laughs> I just liked the way he was because there were certain things I did. I thought because of those things he would go and wouldn't come back, but he was still coming. Oh, yes. he really liked you. <laughs> he really was interested. Okay, nice, interesting, <laughs> interesting. So, about how long did it take for you to get her to date you? How long? I think it wasn't like okay, let's start dating. It wasn't okay. something like yeah. that. Uh huh. We were just talking on phone, okay. and he was he wasn't straight. Do you have a boyfriend? Well, well, he said he was shy. So. Are you ready to have a boyfriend? And oh. my answers were always no. So I don't know if that was why he didn't approach. But before we realized, we were dating and about to get married. Oh, <laughs> just like that? Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Something had to happen in between. No. Really? Yes. Yeah. There was So there was no... Like, you have to make a decision or no, you're no, dating no, no, someone no, no. and you're no, not sure. No. None of that. I wasn't dating anyone by then. No. So when he asked me, I said no, and I wasn't ready to. So it's like, he goes for a month and he comes mm -hmm. a week. And during that week, we mostly, we are always together when he comes. So I think we were like friends. And before we realized, he, he just, even the way he asked me to marry him was quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> he makes you laugh a lot, i Yes, sure. he, he, he just said, um, in Chi, I am starting to turn your man worry. And oh. I'm like, ah, <laughs> how can you just say that? That's an interesting proposal, yes. actually. And yeah, so you, that was your response. Like, do you yes. think he was serious, or you just no? Thought... I didn't know he was serious. So yeah. he went to see my mother behind my back. Oh, this is an interesting development. Yes, because normally when I when I'm talking to, him, I tell him that before. I decide to get married. My mother will be the one to make the decision for me because okay. I'm quite close to my mother. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it was because of that he went to see my mother. And you didn't know? No. My mother called me later and said someone came to see her and the name. He, he said the person called and she gave the direction to the house. Wait, let's go back. <laughs> so you're trying to tell me that all this time... Your mother had not met him? No, no. She didn't know who he... No. She didn't even know that you started talking to someone like this? Or she knew? She knew I was talking to someone, but we were just... I, I just thought that we were just friends. friends. Okay. Yes. So then how was he able to even get her number, find out where she I was? Think, on a... I think she took the, he took the number from my phone. That's right. Yes, In fact, I why think... am I even asking you? He's sitting right here. <laughs> yes. So how did you man manage to, to, to get that all done behind her back? Oh, as she rightly said, I... Got the number on the on her phone and I called the mom and then uh, actually I am at um, uh, Wager Barrier okay. and she is at um, uh, uh, SCC Broadcaster. Yeah. Okay. So I I actually know the area very well. So nearly the mom I called the mom mm -hmm. and then she gave me the direction. I just took. Uh, You're not as shy day. as you say you are. That's oh, really no, bold. I, I am. I am. But um, with that kind of attitude of humor, sense of humor being part of me, I always try to create some kind of funny stuff so, and then I, I, get, I, have, I get things done you, what you, I want to. I want to know what you said to her mom. I would mom. love to know this. <laughs> oh. So you, you go to the house, a, a man she's never met before coming to tell her that he's going to marry her daughter. It wasn't easy then. <laughs> I can yeah. imagine. It wasn't easy then, but then... Uh, when you are determined, sometimes you, you, you really have to take some tough yes. uh, decisions and then. That means you really wanted things. her. You yes. really wanted yes. to marry her. Oh, look at her <laughs> smile. 
Okay. So when she got to know her, 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 her gone behind her back to see the mother, I one time she was off, I also came from a half of them and we all came to Accra and then we went to the house together. In fact, uh, um, the dish the mother served me on that very day, if I, if I, if I was to be asked to pay the, the amount of, <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't be able to pay that because the, the, the kind of fufu I was selling. Well, it, it wasn't was, easy. It wasn't easy at all. <laughs> so mom was on board <laughs> fully, 100%. Um, but okay. before then, uh, I was, there, are, there were a lot of things going through my Was the mom going to be open enough to receive me? Um, isn't she going to say, um, that's uh, how can this short man or short guy come? Hey, that's what her daughter likes, so <laughs> the, she yes, doesn't want yes, the tall ones. But I, at that time, that was <laughs> that was going through, yeah, yeah, going through my mind. <laughs> okay. then, then. Yeah, but God be so good, everything went on uh, as planned and it. And here now, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and here you are. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll continue com conversing about all of this in a bit. But you know what we do here on the Mr. and Mrs. Show? We have our How Well Do You Know Your Partner quiz. One of you will stay, answer questions. The other person will leave. So between the two of you, you can decide who's staying and who's going. I'll give, I'll give, I'll give it to Anna to stay. So she's going to stay. Yes. Okay. So when we come back, I'll be here with Mrs. Asari. Mr. Asari is going to step out. And uh, Mrs. and I will have a good chat. <laughs> and we'll see how well she knows her husband. We fly, we soar, we rise away. We overcome in any weather. There is no end to what we can imagine when we live and love and live this dream is our legacy. Yomi, always different, truly different. We're back and I'm still here with Mrs. Asari. Her husband has left us just so we can have a chat and find out how well she knows him. You know how we do this. I'm going to ask her a few questions and she'll give me her answers. And then when Mr. Asari comes back, we'll cross check and see how well Mrs. Asari knows her husband. Okay, Mrs. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Now you've been married for how many years? Four years. Four years is a good good period of time <laughs> to get to know someone. So let's see. Would your husband rather be less attractive and rich or extremely attractive and poor? Less attractive and rich. Money talks, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Less attractive and let the money flow. Would he break the law to save you in a situation? I'm not sure. Really? Yes. He would rather let you sink than break the law to save you. Okay. <laughs> what is his favorite ice cream flavor? Okay, vanilla or chocolate. Because he would take anything. Mm. Yes, yeah, so far as it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Upper vanilla. You said vanilla or chocolate? Yes. If your house was on fire and he could save one possession, what would it be? His car. <laughs> All men are attached to their cars as if they are babies. Where does he see himself 10 years from now? Well, he wants to be higher than where he is now. He's a plant technician, but mm -hmm. I think he wants to be a supervisor mm -hmm. or probably own his own business. And finally, see, we're almost done. Which region in Ghana, apart from where he comes from, which region would he like to visit with you? Mm, I'm not sure, but I think Ashanti region. Oh. Yes. Why or probably Ashanti? the north, because that's where he has never been before. Okay. So, so which think... region? Northern region, Upper East or Upper West? I don't think that uh, there will be a particular one. Particular Any one. of the... Any of the regions region. in the northern parts yes. of the country. Okay. We are done. You can breathe now mm -hmm. and we'll invite him back. So, okay. Mr. Sari is going to rejoin us. I can't wait to see whether his answers match <laughs> with his wife's, you know. This will be very interesting. So, let's bring Mr. Sari back and we'll see how well she knows her husband. Mm -hmm. 
So, welcome back, Mr. Sari. Thank you. I like your smile. It's like a mixture between a nervous smile <laughs> <laughs> and a happy one. Yeah, okay. So well, Mrs. Asari answered all the questions, but now we have to see whether or not she got them right. So, here we go. I asked her, would you rather, that's you, would you rather be less attractive and rich or extremely attractive and poor? No, attractive and rich. Less, so you'd rather be less attractive but have money? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> For one point. She was right. She was right. Okay. Then I asked her, would you break the law to save her in a situation? Of course, yes. You would, yes. because you love her so much. Yes. Madam, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Tell her husband what she said. I said no. <laughs> Yes, she, she said you're very primpo and you don't like to get in trouble. So even if oh, of course yes, but you know <laughs> when it comes to love, maybe probably I may break the law for that. Yes. yes. You see, things we do for love. Yes. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so that is wrong. Uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mm, uh, I don't really have a flavor. Then I like sweet all right, but then I don't have a flavor. She was right about that. She said you like sweets. Yeah. If your house was on fire and you could save one possession, what would you save? I think I'll, I'll pick my, 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 my set certificates. That's all. Oh, really? Yeah. This is... What did I didn't you even say? think about that. <laughs> He's too attracted to his car, so I thought for me. There you go. She said your car. <laughs> Ten years from now, where do you see yourself? What do you With see a yourself? family in the States. Oh, yeah. Yes. You want to move to the States? Yes. Really? She said you. she can see you owning a business, owning your own business. Yeah, it also, I, yes. It has also been one of my been one of dreams. Your dreams yeah. Eh? Yes. So should I give you the point? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Finally, which region in Ghana, aside from where you come from, which region would you like to visit with your wife? Mm. We have never thought of it, but then uh, maybe probably uh, the northern way part of Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got it right. Okay. Not bad. Really. You, I think you did very well. Four years of marriage, you know your husband quite well. I would say. <laughs> I wish I could give him the same quiz to see if he would also get your answers right. But I think you did very well on Thank that one. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now let's talk about your wedding and marriage so far. So four years ago, the two of you had a wedding ceremony. Yeah. Tell me about it, how you planned it and what the ceremony was like. Well, I know weddings, the ladies planned, plans the wedding, but he did. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I didn't like it initially, but mm. when it got to a point, I realized he was right in any decision he made. So okay. I decided to go along. Even when we are going to, even when I'm going to buy something, he goes with me. <laughs> he decides when we are going to buy the colors we are going to use. He decided everything. No, the colors. Yes. You, did, you mean you didn't choose your colors? No. Okay. What were your colors? It was uh, Lila and... I think hot pink. And you and you picked that. So no, like move no, no. movish lilac yes. with, with hot pink. Yes. And he picked that. Yes, he did. Really? That those are, I thought you said your favorite color is brown. Yes. But when so, it comes to um weddings and you uh -huh. really have to pick uh, something hot or something nice and then So what did you want for the colors? I wanted silver and mm. I think turquoise green. That is like worlds apart. <laughs> So why didn't you take her suggestion? Mm. I didn't even, because of the way he was, I didn't even suggest anything. Oh. <laughs> yes. He was no, like, could... let's do this. Okay, I want about four bridesmaids. No. What are they going to do? Oh. Let's just pick one. <laughs> so it got to a time, I decided to give in. Then at a oh. point, I realized, okay, what he's saying. Makes sense. Yes, because he was in school. Okay. Yes. Like okay. 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 And okay. I was working. All right. So you yes. wanted to be sensible. Yes. So right. I said, okay, probably because... Colors, colors, colors is color me. All right, fine. We get past the colors. Did you pick your own dress or did he pick your dress? I did. 
Okay, nice. I did. All right. In fact, he wanted to go with me. Hey! <laughs> For that one? <laughs> yes, he went with me to the seamstress. He was choosing the one he wanted. So I just kept quiet. I sat down and watched him do everything. Then when he left, I called um, the seamstress. So he didn't even know what I was wearing. He thought it was the one he chose. Mm -hmm. So were you surprised when you saw what she was wearing? Yes. But <laughs> for, 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 for this one, I, I give them the credit because okay. uh, this time around, her choice was... I mean, it was super. Me, yes. Ah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> what about the other things? The music... He did things. everything. I, 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 yes, I, and I think the food, he I, chose someone, and I said, no. Okay. This one, I'll give it to my mother. So we oh. should leave the food out. All right, all right. So right. I think apart from that, he did everything. Even the bridesmaid's dress, he chose it. And it was beautiful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my okay. sister just saw the dress, he was like, ah, where is your sword on the fire? <laughs> okay, so you have good taste. Yes, I mean, that, yes, that, yes, that yes, helps. Yes. Because can you imagine if... All the choices were just wrong. I would you would have been a very yes. unhappy bride. Yes. yes. Then you would have stepped in. But yes. luckily, your, choice, your choices were good. Even the, way, the engagement came to, he chose the style. I, I wouldn't. I would, I'm the type. I wouldn't <laughs> impose it on you. But then okay. the way I frame the whole thing and then... You nah, you, you go know, along with it. And then say, okay. Oh, that well, choice. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, let's go for it. <laughs> nice. So, was Mama... She Did she officiate the wedding? Remember how you said that? She said yes. the men should pick women from the church to marry. Yes. So on the wedding did. day, she was there. Yes. We oh. didn't even do it in our brain. We did okay. it in Accra, but she came. Oh, very nice. Mm. Very, very nice. Okay. Now, four years after that day, and you have a daughter now as yes. well. So how is married life? Mr. Eaton, how's married life? Oh, marriage has been good for uh, if not everybody, to <laughs> we, uh, as we sit here, I think uh, Mary has indeed transformed us oh. one way or the other. Um, because when uh, we were not married, maybe probably I, I do certain things that may, doesn't sometimes organ well with mm -hmm. me. But then uh, after marriage, if 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 lived happily and. Things are, thank God, uh, things are just really well with us. That's good. Yeah. Mrs. Well, I think it has been good. And he has changed me a lot. Let me get into it. Okay. Yes. In what way? Initially, I like, do I use the word spending money? Okay. But even though I like to cook, I love to cook. But I'm um, the, okay, once in a while, let's just go and sit outside. So, in from a, from the first month of marriage, I didn't have it easy. Because oh, anytime yeah. I say, okay, this <laughs> evening, let's go and sit here and buy stuff. He said, okay, how much is a plate of uh -huh. food? Uh-huh. The accountant is, comes out. <laughs> no, really. But he will tell you if it is 20 CDs per plate, yes. the two of us will be 40 CDs mm -hmm. plus drinks. Okay, let me say 50 CDs. Okay, wait, let me give you that 50 CDs. Mm -hmm. Then you cook in the house. That okay. same food plus drinks, then we take it. Okay. Don't go out. Don't go Let's out. Just stay inside. Oh. I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't find it easy, but okay. with time I realized that's how he is. He doesn't like going out often, oh. so I just have to be okay with that. Okay, but do you also compromise so that from time to time you also go out because you know she likes yes, to go out. Yes, yes, yes. So I, it's I, like give and take, fifty-fifty. Yes, yes. Like okay, ah, that's what marriage is, isn't it? <laughs> compromise. Yes. And raising your daughter, what was it like becoming a parent? Now you're a midwife, so you see baby, you bring babies all the time into the world. What was it like becoming a mom? I can't explain that mm -hmm. feeling. It's mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. great. Yeah. And well, for the first, I think for the first six months, I didn't have it easy because she doesn't like food. Okay. So if when i am feeding her she doesn't want to take it but she goes to her father to take the food and oh that is girl. yes but i thought probably because her father likes sweets <laughs> she would also love sweets but she doesn't like any yeah. of it oh yes as at one year she takes banku rice oh that's good and fish yes because the father likes fish so mm. even as at around six months when she he is eating Banku with tilapia. She also wants her Yes, hair. so he, she, he, she likes Pepe. Oh, wow. Yes. A one-year-old. Yes. 
That's good though. If you, you give her food trouble. without pepper, she will eat it. the food. Hey, you have a hardcore daughter. <laughs> yes. While yes. <laughs> um, you're smiling very proudly, I can tell she she has you wrapped around yes. her little finger like this. Yeah, I really love my daughter so oh. much. Yeah. Yes. Do you plan on having more children? Yes. Mm. Mm. How many do you want? Two. I want to three, but he said two. Three. Mm. <laughs> two, it's okay, but if it happens, three, it's, it, it will go by it. But yeah, that, that two has been my Has been your number. Yes. It doesn't matter. Two boys, two girls, one of each, fine. A, a boy and a girl. So no, if the second one is a girl, will you go again? Okay. <laughs> and probably I, I might be tempted to go again. Mm. Yes. You yes. might be. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Different, truly different. We are back and it's time for us to present Mr. and Mrs. Asari with their gifts from our wonderful supporters and sponsors for the Mr. and Mrs. Show. So you can't go away empty handed when you come to the Mr. and Mrs. Show. So Mr. and Mrs. Asari from Yummy Yogurt, they want you to enjoy some more yogurt and I'm sure Mr. will enjoy this a lot. Yes. <laughs> and, and maybe your daughter as well. Okay, so do enjoy your yummy. Our friends at Lace Gallery as well, they've got lovely fabric for the two of you. And uh, Ella Caddy has some jewelry for you to wear as well. So definitely take uh, make good use of that. Excella Fabrics and Design. Again, thank you to Excella for making my beautiful skirt that I'm wearing today. And you can go there for your fabric and design needs as well. You've got something in there from them. Sally's Cakes and Treats. So you see this big cake on my lap, which looks so delicious. You are going to be taking that cake. Mr. I'm sure you're so happy right now because you have a whole cake <laughs> that you can take home and go and eat, you know. So here you go. Thank you. See that lovely big cake yeah. there from Sally's Cakes mm, and Treats. Thank you. Not to mention our friends at Kente Farm. They've also got something in there for you. So guys, please do enjoy all of these special gifts from our sponsors. And thank you so much for coming thank on the too. show. Thank you. And before you go very quickly, any messages out there for people watching who are either thinking about getting married or maybe they're already married, but they want some inspiration from you. You can say something quickly to them. One of the courages in marriage is time. Yes. Um, when you get married, mm. you need to always invest. That is the time in marriage. Because one may say, yes, I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time. But remember, when you invest time in your marriage, it will work out. Mm -hmm. Spend more time with your family. Know their needs and their problems. Because if you don't spend that time, hardly would you know the problems and challenges that they may be facing at all. Very nice, yeah. Mr. Sorry. Mrs. I was just going to say, God, with God, all things are possible. So with if you, even when you, are, you want to get married, you are now trying to decide. If you involve God in it, everything will be okay. And even if you are married and there are problems, God is the best person to talk to. If you consult a human being, a friend, <laughs> even if it's your mother, probably she is going to use her experience. Which may or may not yes. be good. Yeah, you're but right. But if you, you, you talk to God about it, he's the best person to give you a solution to your problem. Your problems. Yes. Thank you for that advice, both of you. And if you're watching at home and you want to be part of the Mr. and Mrs. Show, very simple. Just call us, Enoch Consult, and we'll be happy to get you on the sofa, okay? A big thank you again to Yomi Yogurt, Lace Gallery, Excella Fabrics and Design. Again, my beautiful skirt is made by them. Sally's Cakes and Treats, Ella Caddy and Kente Farm in Kumasi. We appreciate all of you for supporting the show. Thank you as well to Hilda of HO Beauty Bar for doing my makeup. Thank you guys. And for the hair as well. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. Thank you for watching.
my life.